Welcome to day one of the Netball World Youth Cup in Botswana. We've witnessed an amazing opening ceremony that preceded four very good starter games at this World Youth Cup. Being held in Africa, on the continent of Africa, for the first time, and it is the inaugural Netball World Youth Cup taking over from the Under-21 World Championships. This is game five of day one at the University of Botswana, and we're about to see the home team Botswana take on Malaysia in what will surely be a very important game for both teams, closely matched, and with a crowd like this out there, who knows what could happen. The crowd are fired up, willing their team on, and I'm joined in commentary by Denise Egan. And Denise, look at that. It's been an amazing day of netball so far, hasn't it? Yes, it certainly has. We've had the ups and downs of teams who have gone into a quarter and scored highly, and then in the next quarter, everything's dipped, and we've had a change around. It's kept us all on our toes. It certainly has, and if you can take a look there at the crowd, they're fired up. We've had the most amazing cultural journey through this opening ceremony. We've witnessed some amazing talent on the netball court, the dancers, the singers. We've equally been made familiar with all of the cultural benefits of a country like Botswana and a continent just like Africa. So we're about to get game five underway. It is Botswana versus Malaysia and the teams just in their final preparations and about to come onto court for both national anthems and then this game will be underway. It's the final game of day one at the main arena, the University of Botswana in Gaborone. And we've talked a little bit about how the crowd might influence. And there we see a stalwart figure, an expert coach there, Kate Carpenter, the technical advisor for Botswana. Big smiles for the home side. Let's hope for the crowds. They can put out a solid performance in this opening game for them, which is game five of day one. between the International Netball Federation and the Botswana online community portal, SENA, and produced the whole of the World Cup produced by Botswana TV and QTV Sports. Now we see this team eager to get going, the captain hands from Botswana. This is just a special event, special occasion for this under-21 World Youth Cup side. The coaches as well, ready to get everything underway in their campaign on home soil. There's a lot of pride and adrenaline flowing, as, as we can see. And the players are very excited to have, them, to have the World Cup on their home ground in Africa. What a tremendous achievement. So you can witness a total of 45 live matches. This is match number five, 40 more games from the University of Botswana across the official tournament Facebook page and the YouTube channel. Fans from the individual countries, you can view your team's matches through your own country's social media channels on Facebook and Twitter. So our previous national championship was held in New Zealand, uh, was won by New Zealand and held in Glasgow in 2013. So this is the 2017 World Cup. We're on day one, about to witness the home side take to the court.
So both teams will take to the court for the national anthem of Malaysia first, followed by Botswana. Embracing their national anthem, singing loud, the crowd appreciate both. And as we see our teams for this evening, so Botswana, goal shooter, we've got David Dino at goal defence, Hans at wing defence, the captain, Simone at centre, Kawani at wing attack. 
goal attack, Marib and David at goal shooter. And moving on to Malaysia. Captain for Malaysia, final talks, and here we go. Here we have a goalkeeper, Kalitas. Goal defence, Zaba. Wing defence, Harry Rodin. Centre is the captain, Aziz. Wing attack, Azbula. Goal attack, Roganathan. And goal shooter, Nasri. Our umpires for this game, Elisna van der Berg and Marion Johnson Hurley. Our reserve, Angela Armstrong Lush. So we've got Swan on the court ready to go. And we listened to a passionate speech at the captain's call yesterday of Hans, the captain from Botswana. Let's see how she can embrace this first game. She's a born leader, an incredible, talented individual. And I'm sure she'll be wanting to take Botswana through to victory in this first opening game for them. Here we go, this is the Malaysians coming on to court. Nasri, she's first up there. There's Ganathan at goal attack, has Buller all entering the court. Aziz, the captain. Has the final one to enter the court for Malaysia and our umpires ready to get this game underway in what will be, I'm sure, the final challenge for the crowd on this day one of the Netball World Youth Cup. The coaches from Malaysia. Rejab is the head coach, and Mawila, the coach, supported by Kate Carpenter, as mentioned in commentary, the technical advisor. She'll be adding enormous value to the Botswana squad as they embark on this World Cup campaign on home soil. The game gets underway. Simone delivers the ball. Some early nerves there from Hans from Botswana. So, Malaysia. Again, just unable to secure that. Here we go, through to goal. This is Marib. Just couldn't hold on to that, David. We expected early nerves, Denise, didn't we, from the home side? Yes, I think so. Um, Quite a very young squad, both teams. Um, notice there's only 18 caps from Hans, the captain, but within the Malaysia team, they've got 70 caps in total. So a bit more experience, we'll see what happens. So again, lofted ball out of court, gives Botswana possession. So both teams just need to retain possession, look for that safe option. Good speed of ball from Malaysia, the centre, Aziz. Oganathan, she secures the first goal. It is the Malaysian centre pass. They take the lead. And just supported there, fake by Aziz. Ball with. Oganathan again, that's the second goal. So response needed by Botswana. A great performance, good straight line play through from the centre pass. And the offload to David. Crowd will no doubt go mad for that first goal. Look at that. Enjoying that first one with David securing the goal. That should calm the nerves. Let's hope so. David's at 191. She's the tallest on this court tonight. 
but uh, I hope they use it to great effect. So, penalty, and the goal attack. Marib, she puts the ball in. Good offload there from Simone of Botswana. Good use of the overlap on the centre pass. And you see strength of David. Shaky, but she gets the rebound. Yes. So the score, Malaysia three, Botswana two. In the opening three minutes is what we expected. A good feisty contest and early nerves from both teams. There being shown by Hezbollah. Good use of skill there. Waited for that movement from the goal attack along the goal line. Roganathan strong at the start, the goal attack for Malaysia. And she has 25 caps for Malaysia. So she has a bit more experience. So, as you said, that experience will surely count for Malaysia. But Botswana being willed on by the crowd. Good rebound there by the goal defence from Botswana, Dino. And great fast transition through the midcourt. by David off the post, lucky on that one, but she gets the goal. There we see. Sabogo, we've got see Sabogo really keen to see the victory. She's the pioneer behind this inaugural World Cup being held in the country of Botswana. Goalkeeper Kalitas. We will see Botswana take the lead 5 4. As he's just finding a forward option, seeing the goal shooter Nasri come out of the circle. A good hands from the goal defence there from Botswana, Dino. One as spectators are getting behind every pass of it as it's coming through the court. So it's a third goal. Just get a sense with that two goal lead, they're getting a little bit more confident, a bit more settled in this game. And just couldn't finish there, David. Goes hands, she mops up in that mid-court. Great offload there from the wing attack, finding the space. Kwame. David scores. What a great performance from Hans as the captain of this team. Again, 
good quality speed of movement from the goal attack, Logan Athen. Electing to use the back centre pass, Botswana, on most occasions. Chance for the goal attack, yes, she puts it in. That's Marie, she'll be pleased with that goal. Good shooter to shoot a ball there. And Nasri, she'll get the penalty. So one back for Malaysia. And the first shot for Malaysia goal shooter, Nasri. Perhaps he'll gain a little bit more confidence from that. And that's brought the score back to two. So it's still very, very close in the tentative stages of this first game for Botswana and Malaysia. Another chance, can Marie put this ball away? Penalty. Yes, she does. So, hands off low. Great work from Dino. Oh, superb ball from. Dino through to Marie. Just get a sense that Marie's found the form. She's starting to share the shooting with David. I think the timing and the penetration as she comes into the circle is starting to work. And there you can see they want to take everything mid or close range. I think that's a penalty, so she gets another chance to put this one away for Botswana. Deems to pass it off. And David goes for it, and that takes him up two. Ten goals to six. So, the score, Botswana 11, Malaysia 6. Malaysia trying to get this ball through to goal. It's a heavy contest now within the defensive unit from Botswana. Working hard to force the error. As he's strong on the top of the circle. Pass inside. And just a clever wing defence. Starting on one side and coming around. Exposed the other side and coming to the interception. One back for Malaysia, Botswana 11, Malaysia 7. Good swing of the ball from Botswana. Oh, superb play. Movement, incredible there. The swing of the ball just forces the defence to mistime their movement. Heads down. Great play by Botswana. Can Nasri respond? Yes, she can. She's got the accuracy there, the high shot, the high release. And space seems to have opened up in attack for Botswana wing attack, Kuwani. I think she's finding David a lot easier as well because it just got him in the circle out and leaving a one-on-one -on -one for David. And Kouani there, just trying to disrupt the Malaysian centre pass. Good defensive pressure. Good long ball through to Harib. Good work 
Liverpool. Lots of space available for the Botswana play through the court. Great passage of play. from Botswana to get on that defensive role. You talked about the height, Denise, and this is where the Malaysian defence is struggling against this hold and the height of David. Yes, yeah, so I, I particularly think the defence just need to change their strategy because they're hard on the body, and the feeders can see where they are, and it's much easier to see the space of the goal shooter. Good offload there from Malaysia, finding the space. Just pulling the defence a little bit more now, using more movement to try and split the Botswana defensive pair. And timeout called there, so we see the wing defence from Malaysia. Kai Rudin leaves the court. So an early change for the Malaysian side. A oh, good strong hold there from Marib, the goal attack. As we approach the final 30 seconds, David she'll secure this one. Botswana 16, Malaysia 9. Can they work this ball through? Hands offloads through. Playing Puani to the circle edge. This could be an opportunity to get another goal in this final 10 seconds. And there we see some young supporters really enjoying this game, rolling their team on. David is there for the rebound. It's possession to Sri Lanka, sure. Time's running out for them to actually get this ball through to goal. But good speed through the midcourt. Not able to secure that goal. That's the first quarter performance from Botswana to take the lead. 17 goals to nine as we move into the interval. The crowd are up dancing, they're enjoying this one. We'll be back shortly in a few minutes second quarter.
return to the court for this, the second quarter of game five. It's Malaysia centre pass and Botswana. They lead this game 17-9, but look at hands there, fly off the line. But just couldn't retain possession. That lateral ball stolen there by the wing defence who came on to start at the timeout. Shea Yahia from Malaysia. That's a good response from Nasri, the shooter for Malaysia. It's interesting, the defence have changed their style and the keeper is now going behind David, the Botswana goal shooter, and that's caused an error. So we expected something to change tactically to help Malaysia, so good movement there from the defensive pair. But just not able to secure that ball through to their shooters. Fast break through the midcourt. That's Dino, she's strong, she's a real strength in that goal defence position. There goes David, yes, drops in. So an eight goal margin, Botswana 18, Malaysia 10. of that, some good defensive pressure again from Hans. She's a player from Botswana, studying over in Australia. She's worked at her game. She's definitely a strength in that defensive unit. Nasri. She's got the accurate shot. It is about Malaysia creating more of those opportunities. It certainly is. Um, and there we can see a little bit of a hesitant start by Botswana. They've got to make sure they're not complacent. And that puts the complacency out the door. So David takes that away. So it's two all so far. A 19-11 score overall. Matching up our Malaysia in this second quarter. Morgan Nathan, she puts the ball away. post from David, got the high position, positioned at the top of the circle, that gave it a space behind. Again, almost there, hands contesting. Malaysia, they'll work to get that ball through, some accurate shooting already by that pair in Nasri and Logan Athen. Oh, great ball in, that's the centre, Simone putting that ball through, crowd cheering almost every pass in this arena tonight at the University of Botswana. turned over quite early on. It was a great opportunity for Botswana to take the lead even further. from Botswana, change at the goalkeeper position. Soto moves to the bench and 
Dipitalelo, she enters the court at goalkeeper. Quite close, Anita, in this quarter. It's a 5 4 score. A lot of errors creeping in from both teams as the pressure's put on and they find about their strengths and weaknesses. Again, fast transition through the court from Botswana. Good strong hold on the front there. She's got the accurate shot. That's a crowd pleaser, all right gets most of the audience up on their feet. Botswana 23, Malaysia 13. <laughs> just couldn't get in front there, just caught the body. That was the goal defence, Dino. Great rebound by the Malaysian ball shooter Nasri. <laughs> so Malaysia possession. Defensive work from Botswana. Keeps in. Good long range shooter. Marie for Botswana. We see a timeout call, change of centre, Aziz comes off. And that's an umpire time. We've got a bib on the floor. Botswana 24, Malaysia 15. Making strong use of the goal defence. Dino on the centre pass. Most centre passes through the first quarter were put back. Still using and electing to go back for that first phase of the centre pass. Seems to calm down the attack and give them time to just position. I think it does, and also because they've got a tall goal shooter, it helps the centre court, the centre and your wing attack to get in that attacking goal third. It helps support um, the drive of the goal attack and the lob into the goal shooter. Looked like an offside there. So, possession with Botswana again. It's that lateral ball when an attacker's forced to come Square to the ball carrier, that's just affecting the Botswana play. Malaysia very quick to take the intercept. It's a bit more of a patient build up by Malaysia. Really coming to get onto the front position. So they don't have any lock of balls against Botswana. And they've read that very well. Good pick up by the wing attack. Disrupted by centre Simone for Botswana. Some 
sometimes perhaps Botswana looking for that fast break with a couple of long balls and obviously the easily intercepted. A good high ball, almost there, Malaysia. It has, but it's another goal to Botswana. Take the lead out to 11. It's Botswana 26, Malaysia 15. And look at hands, great vision. Good, strong, straight line ball. This one's the playmaker. Just can't secure that goal. Good rebound from David. I think from the crowd's reaction, they're really enjoying that every pass that Botswana are making. side position, that's Hans, the wing defence from Botswana. there just pulled out the defense great move towards the post by the goal attack from Malaysia hands is just so strong on the one-on-one -on -one. Malaysia struggling to get that ball close to the edge of the circle lead that Malaysia are doing in the shooting circle defense is starting to pick up on it and read that split lead and the defense taking that baseline the back line run sometimes call it the back door the bring attacks getting excited because of the roar of the crowd so Malaysia on the attack, an 11 goal margin as we approach the final two minutes of this, the second quarter. It's Botswana 27, Malaysia 16. And that's a held ball, so three second call. Goal attack, Marib from Botswana. Both shooters now sharing the scoring in this quarter for Botswana. Oh, good work, Marib. Offloads to David. That's the shooter to shoot a ball that any coach would want to see. And what a tremendous look away pass. Superb fake of the ball there. So, final minute. minute approaches we've got a change and we see David also going to the bench for Botswana change of shooter for the home nation equally change for Malaysia we see Nasri returning to the court this time, goal attack. So, can 
Malaysia. Made the move, but no, just good tracking from the goalkeeper from Botswana, Dino. She switched back, positional change this quarter. Dino to goalkeeper, Di Patello at goal defence. She's the goal shooter for Malaysia as we move into the final seconds of this, the second quarter. She's come on strong. Great goal. And a good offload there. Fantastic part in this game so far. And that's the final whistle of this second quarter. What a scoreline, Botswana 32, Malaysia 16. That's pleased the home crowd. Some substitutions made for both teams there, but Swan is staying strong. It is the work of Dino at the back and the superb combination of Marib and David. That was a quarter score of 15 goals to Botswana and seven to Malaysia. So 32-16 as we approach the half-time interval. We'll be back in 10 minutes with the final half of this round five, game five on day one of the Netball World Youth Cup.
Ladies and gentlemen, an update on the score, 32 Botswana, 16 Malaysia. So we welcome Botswana back onto court for the third quarter. Malaysia, they'll be looking to just close down this deficit. And it's a 32 to 16 scoreline in favour of the home nation. So some statistics from that previous half, just to see where Botswana were getting the advantage over Malaysia. Yeah, I think it's all to do with turnover to conversion because Botswana converted 32 out of 35 attempts, whereas Malaysia, they've been kept down to 16 out of 19. So far more shooting opportunities as we would expect with this solid performance of Botswana through that first half. It's Hans who's putting the pressure on the wing defence for Botswana. just a change of goal attack so we see David's back on a goal shooter and Botswana brought on a new goal attack changed up the combinations taking the highly capped with 18 caps Saligetso who came in for a short time at the end of that last quarter and it is Selagetso that replaces Marib at the goal in the goal attack position. So some changes for Botswana. They'll be looking to develop this lead. goal from David again good pressure from Malaysia Circle defence read the release point at the second stage defence. So it's, it is confirmed changes for Botswana. So it gets so at goal attack. Never enters the court at centre. David back to goal shooter. And Fisodi at wing defence. Aziz for Malaysia, back to goalkeeper. And Datu Mumabar at goal attack. And Nasri back into goal shooter. I think Botswana physically are using their height and long reach advantage very, very well against Malaysia. There's the offload again through to David. She'll be enjoying the service she's getting from the mid-quarters for Botswana. It's a good, strong hold, great ball. Over to the back space. Got Swana 38, Malaysia 17. So 
So throw in to Malaysia, like a misunderstanding there by the umpire, but quickly rectified. And there we go, Malaysia managed to get another goal in. Our dignitaries enjoying the game this evening following the opening ceremony. There she goes, that's the high ball to David that Malaysia have really struggled to do anything about. There's the president, the Honourable Molly Roan, president of the International Netball Federation. Center for Botswana, never. up there from the goal defence for Botswana, Di Patello. Again, great ball from Never through to David. And that's the rebound secured. So it gets so she puts the ball away. 40 goals to Botswana, Malaysia 18. Great vision, just delaying that entry into the circle. So we'll get so. Nasri puts that ball away. Very committed, Denise, the Botswana team, just to take that ball through to circle edge. Almost sense there's been a bit of an influence from the Australian and Kate. What yes. would you say? Well certainly but that that's what everybody would deem to do a good coach would ensure that we've got an easy feed from the circle edge and it's not always easy to get there because we do have those defenders trying their utmost to, to outwit us and not get the ball there so but we have had a lot of work from both teams you'll, you'll see they don't feed the ball from a long way off that's good passage of play for Botswana So a good number of changes, positional and substitutions for the Malaysians. And there we see the superb face painting for the crowd this evening. Good hold again by David. So extending their lead, Botswana. It's 43 to Malaysia's 20. Some good, strong defensive work. That was good from the wing defence from Malaysia. So Yaya, she's worked hard in this quarter.
think both teams have tried to make lots of changes. But Malaysia, unfortunately, don't have anything to combat the height that David adds to the Botswana shooting circle. Again, great speed enters the left side of the circle as we look most times. She's aware of the shooter side. And it's clever, intelligent play from Botswana. So, so moving into final four and a half minutes of this third quarter. It's Botswana 45, Malaysia 20. Great shot, good long shot from Malaysia, that's Nasri. And Nasri, when she's got the ball in there, she certainly made sure that she's converted it, Anita. It's definitely a crowd pleaser tonight, this result, Botswana in the lead by 25 goals an impressive performance following an impressive opening ceremony here on day one at the world youth cup and great pressure again that's the good work of Dino and Di Patello, the defensive pair. Great ball to space there for David, makes it look easy. The Malaysia defence really trying hard to stop that ball being offloaded to David on the goal shooter position. No options forward for Malaysia, forced back. And good support on the circle edge from the wing attack, Aspala. Intercept from Sabah, the goal defence for Malaysia. Well, she's been very quiet so far, that was a good reaction. I think she's got to obviously come out of the circle and do a little bit more hunting out there. It is rather difficult at the moment, trying to get up against that 191 centimetre height of David. Sorry, there's... Tobogo, she'll be pleased with the team's performance in this game. 26 goal margin already opened out in this third quarter as we approach the final minute. Someone's on the deck. And the wing attack just struggling. She's got herself back. Upstanding. That's Aspala. What a ball through to David again. She's gained in confidence. She's really performing to the best of her ability in this game. So, final seconds. We missed the third quarter. Can Malaysia secure a goal?
So this is game five. There's a total of 45 live stream games offered through this line live stream portal. 40 more games that you can witness, you can be part of at this, the inaugural Netball World Youth Cup. It places the World Championships at under 21 level. And there we go, that's the end of the third quarter. It's Botswana 50, Malaysia 23. What a performance by the home team. A wonderful crowd in this arena tonight at the University of Botswana. That scoreline in that quarter, 18 goals scored by Botswana, seven scored by Malaysia. We'll be back in a few minutes to pick up the final quarter. It is the scoreline, 50 goals to Botswana, Malaysia, 23. Welcome back for this final quarter. Botswana quick to take the court against Malaysia. Fine scoreline for the home team. And Botswana, in this game, there will be a player of the match to the home nation. There is a sponsorship opportunity with Spa, where they will name and sponsor the player of the match. So. Look out for that. We'll be announcing the first Spa player of the match for Botswana. And a 
great goal scored there by the shooter, Bangiwa. Bangiwa entering the court for Botswana in this final quarter. from Botswana, good movement, so I get so, she secures the goal. A little bit too late on that ball through, good positioning by the Malaysia defensive pair. So Botswana 52, Malaysia 24. It's a massive scoreline for the home team. And you would expect the coaches from Botswana to be pleased with this performance. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> the crowd behind them, um, which has exposed a lot of the players. Right, they're really coming away with, with the game. They've had various combinations on in shooting and defence and through the centre court. What coach would be pleased with that? I'm sure the Botswana coaching team will just be demanding more and more from the team as we move into day two in their second pool game. The shooting players, they look a little bit more relaxed, a little bit of a low five to each other, and a great big smile. And timed out again, just looking to pass, not confident in the shot there, the Malaysian goal attack. That's day two, Muammar. But look at that, such composure, great shooting action. Mbangiwa, she'll be really pleased with this performance. Just really struggling to get this ball in. Some good, tight, solid defensive work from Botswana. There we go again, just forcing the high ball. This defensive pair playing well together. Yeah, an excellent switch. They're now learning that the Malaysians do the split one to the top one to the back line, and they've actually switched to get the interception from that. Done and dusted, Malaysia coming back, great interception on the third line by the goal defence. Can't seem to bring that ball down safely. Oh, excellent response, crowd going crazy, not sure they can last another 10 minutes. Many coming in into the, the aisles, they're dancing to our left in commentary. We see the opposing side to our right, all up dancing, celebrating what they believe is a victory. 
still over nine minutes to go. Changes there. And a good defensive work. Good transition to that circle edge. That's a superb ball through. There we go. Excellent performance. And the coaches, as you witness there in their traditional clothing, cheering, dancing away. As we look at the spectators around us, I think everywhere's blue. <laughs> I wonder what country they're supporting. Oh, great offload. All the top, hitting the back line. Not a lot gone wrong for this team. Shaky first few minutes in that initial quarter, but from then they settled and they've really pulled away. Superb shooting from David, the Botswana tall shooter. She's now on the bench, but she's been a real influence in this side. She certainly has. She started a bit tentatively, but then right, once she got her eye in, she was a real threat and Malaysia didn't have an answer for her. So look at the scoreline, it's Botswana 61, Malaysia 24, as we move into the final seven and a half minutes. And this quarter already, scoreline for this quarter, 11 goals to Botswana and just a single goal to Malaysia. I just think as Botswana are gaining confidence, they've opened up the court a lot better. So they've always got two forward options and a lateral option. It's forcing the ball away from goal side. Lots of opportunities to intercept as a result of the positioning of the defensive line from Botswana. And it's a much slower ball and game for Malaysia giving Botswana time just to position and go for the intercept. And some final changes for Botswana, never in the wing attack. Basodi at centre, Simone at wing defence. Look at that, look at the crowd. It's been a fantastic opening day here at the Netball World Youth Cup. And this, the fifth and final game of day one, followed a superb opening ceremony. And what a way to finish for this home crowd. Out in force, enjoyed the opening ceremony, look at this. Certainly will enjoy the victory, I'm sure, way beyond the end of this fourth quarter.
standout performances from the Botswana side tonight. Denise, who would you want to name in particular? Well, there certainly has been. Give me um, a few choices. Um, in the initial stages, Hans was very, very dom dominant to turn over the ball for Botswana on the wing defence, and that created a lot of opportunities for Botswana as they were very nervous at the start. But as the game has gone on, I, I looked again at David, and she was such a threat, and the laser had nothing to give us an answer. So for me, I would name David as the player of the match. Yes, and I think we'd agree but for Botswana, she was such a strength through the game. She's now returned to the bench, an opportunity as a result of her work, her excellent shooting statistics there, allowing more of the bench players to come on. With a superb start to the Botswana campaign. And the commentary team selecting David as the player of the match. That would be announced at the end of the game. The Botswana games through the pools. They will receive player of the match, and that's a sponsorship just for the home nation from Spa. Supermarket sponsoring the competition. So look out for those players of the match for Botswana. And when we move into the top eight, placing games, there will be a player of the match for each of the nations competing in those top eight and for the positions of one to eight in this Netball World Youth Cup. There'll also be a player of the competition as a whole, and that is voted on by the opposing teams and confirmed by a panel from the International Netball Federation and that will be announced in the closing ceremony. I think Botswana have done really well to use that eighth player. The support from the crowd has been absolutely marvellous, and I think it's lifted Botswana right, to take this scoreline far out of Malaysia's reach. Yes, excellent performance all round. Can't fault this crowd. I hope we see more of them through this competition. I hope they stay with us because this has been just a phenomenal atmosphere to open up day one of this Netball World Youth Cup. Remember, there'll be far more, 40 more games, in fact, live games for you to watch through the live streaming as we approach the final two minutes in this final fourth quarter. There we go, that's another long shot to the delight of the dignitaries. We've enjoyed a wonderful evening, an opening ceremony, sharing their culture, their values, information about their country, followed up by this wonderful performance from a squad who's clearly been preparing long and hard for this competition. So it's a fine scoreline, Botswana 71, Malaysia 25, as we approach the final minute. And it's a scoreline of 21 goals to two in this quarter. An outstanding performance from Botswana. Nasri, she'll secure this goal. presentation from the president of the International Netball Federation, the right honourable Molly Roan, and she said this is about friendships, it's about meeting new people, enjoying the netball and playing with such passion. And I think we've witnessed all of that, Denise, as we approach the final seconds of this game five on day one. Yes, we certainly have. And the smiling faces we've... we've had over the last few days and this first day from the Botswana community is absolutely tremendous. And I know it will continue all the way through. They've been so really good and 
love playing that ball. You can see the values are really strong for netball in Botswana. So this may be the final shot. Not able to secure that, and that is the final whistle. The cheers of the crowd, the delight of the young fans, the older fans, the families that have come into this arena tonight. What a fine performance, what a wonderful atmosphere we've witnessed. True, true passion for netball in Botswana. And there we see it's Botswana 72, Malaysia 26, the player of the match for the home nation. As we said, it's a sponsored award just for the home nation. And it will go to David, the goal shooter. She put out solid performance for her side in this game tonight. We see the crowd thanking the players, the players thanking the crowd. They'll do their lap of honour, I'm sure, just in appreciation. And it's been a wonderful first day. We'll be back, 40 more games for you to watch on the live stream through your home nation's Facebook or Twitter account through the INF. And I'm sure this dancing will go on long into the night. And here we see just some of the replays. Happy crowd. A few disappointments on the Malaysian bench, but they'll be back stronger. They'll learn an awful lot. Now that Sana, the mascot for the World Youth Cup. And as we sign out, it's been a wonderful first day, concluded with a win for the home nation. We'll be back tomorrow. It's the final scoreline, Botswana 72, Malaysia 26. It's good night from the commentary team and see you all again for day two of competition at the University of Botswana.